Hello and welcome to yet another Equity for Keeps video. Um, we're going to cover this piece reading on uh, Schaefer Investments uh, Research, uh, one of their pages. It's written on one of their pages and um, it's uh, on Boeing. And this piece was written by Jake Scott on the 17th of April, that's uh, Friday, the 17th of April. This is Boeing stop flying high on reports of production resumption. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, it's an understatement to say the airline sector is taking a massive hit. The order book of the jet makers and their deliveries has been impacted immensely with uh, Boeing Corp. Suffering reported their 313 cancellations amid I'm sorry, mixed between contract terminations and uh, future cancellations. Despite this, the airline, the aerospace giant plans to resume production of the of all commercial planes at its uh, Seattle area facilities next week. In response, Boeing is up 11.8% last seen trading at $150.05. On the charts, the year is changing, it's chasing its 30 day moving average, a trend line that has been acting as a steep resistance and uh, one the stock hasn't topped since uh, February 21. Robert Security is still facing a 54% each day deficit. Still, analysts are leaning towards the pessimistic side of things. Of the 15 in, in coverage, 11 call it a hold or worse. Meanwhile, the consensus 12 point price target of $163.56 is a slim 84% premium to current levels. Option players are big on Boeing today. That was the, the 17th of uh, April. So far, 345,000 calls and 102,000 puts double the intraday average across the tape. That volume is pacing for the 100 percentile of its annual range. The most popular are the April 160 and 155 call contracts, which now with new positions are being opened at both, indicating more bullish bets are being placed are being played uh, last minute as those positions are set to expire this evening. Oh, that was last evening. Okay, let's uh, quickly go ahead and see, um, have a look at uh, Boeing. First of all, we have a look at the summary. Okay, before we look at that, we uh, Try and see what's going on here on Google. And in the pre market, it's down 3.64%. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to come back. Let's quickly have a look at uh, what people think over here on the stock tweets. We've, we have, we've had a look earlier on. And, um, it says here the sentiment is uh, up 0.59 percent. The messaging volume three percent. Stock uh, is down 3.7 percent. So it's a mixed. Uh, they are mostly mixed. Some you know think uh, there isn't anything, but I think uh, if quite a few probably a slight majority think. Um, it might just keep going up. It might go up today, being the 20th of March, 20th of April, sorry, 2020. And uh, they are citing um, um, plans to buy a few aircrafts from Boeing uh, by the uh, German Defense Ministry. Um, Also, citing other other um, 
leasing companies that uh, have cancelled the orders for aircrafts. So. What do we have here? The 52 week range of $391. 52, sorry, 52 week range of uh, 89, between $89 and uh, 391. So, in other words, uh, yeah, okay. Um, put call ratio for the last day is 0 0.3, indicating, or rather, sort of validating uh, what we read earlier that. Uh, um option traders are more on the call side the put call ratio here is also for 30 days is 0 0.6 um meaning that uh yes they're still very much on the call side over the last 30 days um but uh the last one they increased uh, a lot more and uh, it has a short interest of 2.1%. So let's quickly have a look at the charts and see. For the for this year 2020, so the range over there you can see it is 1st of January 2020 to uh, 15th of uh, April, let's make it 17th. So this is what it looks like. And we are going to see obviously that reflected in the uh, MACD and signal line uh, chart. So we can see this crossover happened uh, just at the time it uh, assumed a significant uh, upward momentum here, somewhere around there. Um, so even, in other words, it was, it's, it's, it, what it says here is that even by the time it was here, somewhere here, it wasn't uh, sufficient to say that it's, it is, uh, it has sufficient uh, momentum. It's probably when it crossed the signal line that it uh, was probably, um, it could be said with confidence that it is now, it now has a uh, bullish momentum. Okay, and um, we can see now that um, where is it currently trading it's I think um, oh, it, it, it is trading below all the uh, averages we have here that is the 20 day simple moving average the 50 day simple moving, moving average and the 20 day exponential moving average but um, it is uh, within range of uh, within a shot of the simple moving average uh, the exponential moving average for 20 days so uh, we obviously know why this chart is like this you know, from what's been going on since uh, uh, March of uh, 2019 so this is the case of uh, Boeing. We'll continue to uh, cover Boeing for you and other stocks. Um, um, please do not fail to uh, click on that uh, subscribe button. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.